Hi, my name is James Dulles of James Dulles Consulting Services. Some of you watching may know me as such, more maybe as Jim Dulles or simply JD. Others may not know me at all, including those that have stumbled on this video I have posted to YouTube. My experience with CAD, computer aided design, is over 30 years, including multiple, multiple CAD systems, but specializing over the last 18 years in NX and also NX Mo Wizard. This video I am presenting today is about a little used feature of the delete base command in NX for experienced NX users. So what I'm looking at right now is a model with a variable blend that goes into a consistent blend. So we have a variable blend here of a large size going into a small blend. And my hypothesis is today is that this is a dumb body as you can see there are no parameters now my boss comes and tells me he wants this to be a constant radius all the way down and all the way up how am I going to achieve that the first thing I'm going to try is a delete face correct and I can sum up here and say single face uh, connected blend faces. I'm going to just try connected blend faces and try and grab one here and it's going to try and grab the whole connected amount of blend faces and I get all kinds of errors. NX cannot figure out how to close all these surfaces because there's so many different variables involved. The next thing I'm going to do is say well maybe up here let me change this to datums again maybe up here these faces up here if I delete those maybe it'll let me delete that whole face. So I'm going to put that back to no selection fil filter and do a delete face <coughs> and try and delete these faces up here one by one because those are easy blends to put back in. I'm going to do that much and then over here I'm going to do the same. I'm on single face if I hit uh, connected blend faces it probably would allow me to do the whole nine yards at once but for demonstration purposes this is, this is fine. Okay. So now if I can get rid of the other face, those blends are the easy ones to put in, as any NX modeler knows. It's a consistent radius around. So now I'm going to go back to delete face, and I'm going to say connected blend faces again, and see if NX will delete that. It still won't do it. It still has problems, and I believe that's probably because of this variable radius that goes from very large to very small quickly. So now I'm just going to cancel here, and I'm going to get rid of this delete face. Now this time, when I do my delete face, I'm going to go down here and say delete partial blend, which a lot of modelers, and myself included, didn't even know existed. But I'm going to say delete partial blend. Then I'm going to grab this one here, and look what it did. It got rid of the partial blend. As far as it could see, That it was a consistent blend. I'm going to just see how much I can get this thing to work for me and X to do my job for me. Well look at that. I picked that other blend and it got rid of it. Now I'm going to go up here and get rid of this one too and look at that. Now if I do an information 
object here and set it to type face and find out what that blend size is. <clears throat> I see it's a point one two etc etc. I'm gonna just copy that. <clears throat> and then we go with my blend command here. And you see I already have it in there. And then I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to have edge and tangent curves here set to make sure. Boom. And look at that. Without me having to make like, <clears throat> let's go back to here. If I couldn't get the extrude body to work, I would have to somehow fill in this surface, maybe enlarge this surface, trim it to this surface, enlarge those two, sew them together, make a solid, somehow figure out where all the points are to trim it off correctly. And if you've ever done a lot of this type of uh, hacking and whacking is what I call it in NX, you're going to end up with a lot of areas where you have to you have to trim, you have to offset, you have to just get them perfectly right. But let's look at this with two commands. I have a beautiful model right there, all ready to go. So that's a short video just to show you the power of the delete face command. If you are not successful the first your first try, especially when removing blends, to look at the delete partial blend checkbox and try it. Because I will guarantee you your results are going to amaze you. And it's going to be something you will use time and time again once you know that that option is available. Because, like I said, I have been modeling, surfacing, etc., etc., in multiple CAD systems, including NX, over the years. But until I discovered this, actually, a fellow modeler instructed me on how to use it, I didn't even know it existed or used it. Once I found it was there and I was unsuccessful at removing blends, which if you know <clears throat> and if you have experience in NX you, working with dumb bodies is one of the main things you have to do a lot. And once I found it was there it became another tool in my arsenal in my successful use of NX and making NX work for me, not me working to use NX.